Hello friends. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to properly backup your photos to iCloud and how to properly disable iCloud photos feature on your iPhone without losing any of your photos. So first thing, let's see how to properly backup your photos to iCloud using iCloud photos feature on your iPhone. So head over to settings, scroll down and look for photos. Select photos option here. And here you want to ensure that this iCloud photos toggle is turned on and then you have got two options here. If you select this first option, optimize iPhone storage, the original copy of your photos will be stored on iCloud whenever there is low space on your iPhone. So whatever photos you have on your photos app, all these photos will be replica of your original photos. So basically original photo will be saved on iCloud and the replica low resolution photos will be saved on your iPhone. So whenever you open a photo, you'll see a small circular dot which will be indicating that your photos are being downloaded from iCloud. So whenever you open a photo, you'll see that circular dot. Now in my case, I have ample storage on my iPhone. So photos are not yet offloaded from my iPhone. So I have original copies on my iPhone as well as on iCloud. In your case, if you have a lot of photos, Original copies will be saved on iCloud and the low resolution photos will be saved on iPhone. So you want to choose this option if you want to save space on your iPhone. Many people buy iCloud storage plan just to enable this feature and save space on their iPhone. Now the second option is download and keep originals. You should select this option if you want to keep original copies of your photos on your iPhone as well as on iCloud. So whenever you tap on a photo, you will not see any circular dot on the bottom right corner because original copy of photos are already there on your iPhone. But this will eat up a lot of space on your iPhone. So you have to be careful with this option. Now that was all about backing up your photos from iPhone to iCloud. Now let's see how to turn off this iCloud photos feature and delete photos from your iCloud without losing your photos. So the first thing you want to do is select this option, download and keep originals. Now you want to give your iPhone some time. You want to keep it connected to power source and Wi-Fi for around four or five days. And that will definitely depend on the number of photos you have on iCloud and your Wi-Fi speed. So the point is you want to ensure that original copy of your photos is downloaded on your iPhone from iCloud before you turn off that feature. So how do you ensure that? So you want to randomly open photos and see that there is no circular icon, which is a downloading symbol on the bottom right corner. So if you don't see that symbol and if you randomly open photos, if you see original copy of photos on your iPhone, you're sure enough that all the photos are downloaded from iCloud. Now you can go ahead and turn off this toggle iCloud photos. Done. Now your iCloud photos feature is off, but your photos from iCloud are not yet deleted. So what you want to do is go back, scroll all the way up, tap on your name, select iCloud, select manage storage, and then select photos. Now you want to select this disable and delete. Now you might get this prompt and you have to ensure that you have already downloaded all your photos from iCloud to your iPhone and you will still have 30 days to download all your photos from iCloud before it gets deleted automatically. So once you're sure enough that you have downloaded all the photos, go ahead and hit continue anyway. That's all. Now. This is how you properly disable iCloud photos feature on your iPhone. Now you can go to your laptop, go to iCloud.com and still download original copy of those photos. You still have 30 days left, but this is the way you can do it on your iPhone. You need not visit iCloud website if you do it properly. And that's all I wanted to share. Many people ask me how to do this properly. And I thought I should quickly share this with you all. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.